wanna know his secret? What is up guys, Grenader here, welcome and today I'm going to show you guys how to record in 60 frames per second. Yep, you heard it right. So if you're coming here and you already know how to record in 60 frames per second but don't know how to render in 60 frames per second, I got your back dude. Um, this is a two part series where I am going to show you guys how to record and how to upload in 60 frames per second. I don't do it because it's a lot of work and I need a, I'd rather buy an HD PVR, or not an HD PVR, a uh, Elgato HD 60. But uh, you guys are here for a reason so I'm going to help you out. Um, so this episode is uh, actually showing you guys in depth and how to change and how to record, how to actually record in 60 frames per second. Uh, if you want to know how to upload in 60 frames per second or actually render in 60 frames per second, I'll have a uh, little link on the screen that you can click on, an annotation if you will, and uh, you can just click on that and watch that video. So without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so let's exit out of Advanced Warfare here. And so what, how this works is that uh, you want to have in mind that you will be recording at 60 frames per second but you won't be seeing the 60 frames per second on your TV you'll see it on your computer when you look at the gameplay but you won't be able to see it on your TV so you know that kind of that means that if, if it's not going 60 frames per second on your TV don't think it's broken don't think it's not working it is it is it's just that uh, it's you can only see it on your TV or not on your TV you can only see it on your computer so uh, let's uh, I think that's enough of a disclaimer so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, uh, what you want to do is that uh, you want to uh, navigate over to your settings and uh, go to display and sound and change the resolution to 720. What this will do is that it'll make your TV flash and then turn back on and then it'll say keep this resolution. Uh, your display will go back in the last settings in 15 seconds or whatever. Just hit yes. Um, what I just did or what we just did is that um, we changed from 1080p 30fps to 720 to 60fps. So now we're recording at uh, 60 frames per second. Now this will lower the quality but you know in return you get that extra frames. So this will work for Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4 and PS3. So uh, whatever the equivalent is to your settings and going to your sound or display, uh, find your display, go to resolution change that to 720 and hopefully this will work and it'll change it to 60 frames per second so like I said it's not gonna look 60 frames per second right off the back on your TV but uh, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can use this gameplay here as an example um, like you're playing the game all normal and you won't be really like the, you can't really tell the difference from 1080p to 720 and you can't really tell the 60 frames per second to uh, 30 frames per second on your TV but keep in mind, I said on your TV, but when you go over to your laptop, computer, whatever, you're going to see a huge difference. The quality won't be the same. Like it'll, you can tell it's in 720p, but you know, 720p is still in HD. So it's not a horrible, like dazzle quality. It's uh, it's pretty good. So um, yes, this is pretty much it on the, um, on the console. So we're gonna switch over to the computer so I can show you um, a little bit more and uh, let you know or kind of teach you a little bit of how this works. Alrighty guys, so welcome to the computer part of this and I'm going to show you guys what I mean by 720 and what happens. So, um, at least on the HPVR side of things, like I'm not sure about the HDPVR1, but I'm damn sure that the HDPVR2 can record in 60 frames per second using this method. Now, um, if we go where it says, or like, uh, let me just show you from the beginning. So. I'm going to open up your recording software. I'm using, I think it's called ArcSoft Showbiz or whatever. Um, this is um, the best of the best to record any gameplay using any capture card. Um, you can basically just uh, like link it and then you can just come over here and choose it. But um, as you can see, I've got uh, Advanced Warfare running in the background. And what you want to do to check if it's actually doing so is that you want to go to Format Settings. And um, you'll see something pop up here in a minute. So um, as you can see, you got all these little tabs and you want to navigate to the one where it says HD or HAPOG H264 encoder. 
Now, as you can see here, it tells you when um, where it says source, it tells you the width, the height, and frames per second, and that's all you need to know. So, as you can see, it says 1280 by 720, which is 720p. And where it says frames, or FR, that's frames, it says 60. So, it's working, guys. It's working. You're recording at 60 frames per second in 720p, which is, like I said, not that bad, but, you know, it's, it could use some improvement. But um, I'm not here to criticize, and like I'm saying, 720p, 60 FPS. Now, I'm going to change uh, the settings on my Xbox real quick to 1080p so you guys can see the difference. So, I'm gonna click OK, and um, hopefully the screen pops right back up on my capture module and it's lagging a little bit but there we go all right so i'm just gonna navigate on over to my settings real quick and we've got a settings display and sound and here we got the resolution so we're gonna change the resolution again to 1080p and the system itself should kind of not it won't reboot but it will just like kind of flicker a little bit hit yes and as you can see right there, where it says input resolution, it just switched that easy, that fast. It didn't glitch out. And we're going to go to format settings again. And it should say, um, whoa, it shouldn't say that. Hang on. Let me fix it. Let me fix this real quick. Back out. Go back to the game we were just in. Okay. Uh, format settings. It should just say... 1920 1080 i don't know why it says 60 that's kind of odd but um what what i'm trying to point out here is that it will record whatever your xbox or, or your console is outputting so this actually works better on the last gen or previous gen consoles because the xbox 360 can't output 60 frames per second on your tv and the ex or the ps3 can't do that either so the way that like montage makers and people that use 60 frames per second do it is by using it this way so uh, that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching um if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like support my videos leave, uh, subscribe if you haven't already uh leave a comment down below if this worked or not for you and like i said this um is a it's a better way to record to be honest because it's in 60 frames per second youtube is already optimized for 60 frames per second so why not go ahead and make use of that so this is uh the end of part one uh, i'd actually i'd recommend you to go watch part two because i'm going to show you how you render a lot of people know um this method or they already have an hd 60 or whatever like they already got 60 frames per second clips but they don't know how to upload them edit them and do all that stuff so uh next episode i'm going to show you guys how to do that so until next time this is grenader peace out <laughs>